with his team. Kalantam, one, ATM, nil. Get it out of your mind, Farizal. Another mistake and your team will undoubtedly lose the cup final. It's Kalantam in the white who get us underway in this second half. Quickly run through their 11 as Marlon James pressurizes Carol Farmy. Carol Farmy in goal. A back four of Nick Sharrell, Obina Unwanieri, Subramaniam and Daudu Jamaludin. Holding midfielder is Shaka Shari. And from right to left in midfield, they've got Indra Putra. I'll hold off just for a moment because Arudin was caught. The defenders stayed down. ATM under no real reason why they should stop. Arudin. And it's still not being put out of play. Finally it is. And is it Subramaniam who's down on the deck and hurt? Oh, he's gone. I think he knows he knows he's done an injury. I think his knee. His studs got caught in the grass. You can see the mark just behind him there, Subramaniam. Hopefully we get a, a, a good look at it on, on the replay. He knows he's just explaining it. He lost his footing. This is the incident. Here it is. Have a look here. Oh. There. Oh. He's been clipped from behind. You can see. There it is. Left knee. That's right. And that's a big loss if they can lose if they're gonna lose Subramanian, who's been fantastic in the first 45 minutes. Well on the bench, Rizal Farmi is a natural centre back, so they can replace him like for like, but Subra is the talker. Subra is the organizer amongst that back four. I, I find him as the leader in the team, absolutely there. There's uh, you know, he, he's a very, very good player, and uh, they're definitely going to lose his service and his ex experience, especially at the back now, and very, very early on. The other option is Zyril Fitri might come in at left back, down to shift over to right back, and Nick Sharrell, who's a natural centre back, move into the middle. Yeah, and he's a big, I, I would go probably with Nick Sharrell as a centre back, and probably down to go to right back. Probably a better balance for for Glantan. At the moment, Kalantan down to ten men. Hi, Rudin. Great header by Opina and Banieri. A great sportsmanship between the two. <laughs> he doesn't take any prisons, does he? So there's option A, the centre back, Rizal Farmi, like for like. It's an early decision Boyan wouldn't have wanted to have to make. Well, that's why he gets paid the big money, Boyan. He's got, he's got to make the right decision in the, in the next uh, substitution. Hey, deal! It's blocked, I think, by his own player, and it's another corner. But Adil at that near post always makes that run and is so dangerous. Yeah, we said it's his timing. I think he's blocked by his brother. Yes, it is his brother. I don't think it was going on target. But uh, again, uh, he's getting in front, and when he does get the leap in front, he wins 99% of those uh, balls. Riz Alfami is the man who's coming on. Surely, if it's a centre back, you've got to wait for him to get into position. Christie's corner. Rizal's clearance. Bruno! Equalizer! Rizal Zamri has fired in the equalizer for ATM. You said they needed an early goal. I'm sure it's taken a deflection, but Riz Al Zamri is going to claim that one. Yeah, and you should claim that one. Beautiful hit there, Satya there. Just tell them now, keep your heads and let's let's play, boys, because the first 45 minutes were not good enough. And a great goal. Really, Carl Fabi had no chance. It was a deflection on the way. Shocking clearance there by I think it was Intra Putra, and there's a deflection of uh, Big Obina. But you've got to hit him. As long as you hit him on target, there's always a chance you're going to score. There's the shot, hit the chest of Obina, and ATM are back, and we're back on with the game. It's exactly as you called it. Riz Al Zambri doesn't score many, catches it sweetly. But ATM are all square at one apiece. Rizal gets it, but is it an OG? It's, it's got to be an OG because it's come off full chest and has gone about five, six yards the other way. Uh, look, it was a good hit by Zamri. He wasn't even going on goals. But you can see how much uh, unsettled in that injury. Superman was injured. That's not so. Here they come. Here comes Plante. No Charles.
and Galantan have responded in the best style. <laughs> what a response that was. That's not even 10 seconds when they kick off. 10 seconds when they kick off. Shocking defending by, first I think it was K. Ruben who got caught out. K. Ruben's not even looking. And I think it was Tasha Dean who kept everybody on side. Oh, come on. You've got to do better than that. Again, the goalkeeper's at fault, I think, here. It was a horrible bounce in front of him. Oh, you've got to do better, goalkeeper. You must do better than that. That's two soft goals as conceded. Great play by Noel Sherrill. And there was a bit of a deflection, I think. But still, the keeper had a good look at it, Des. Well... Five minutes ago, you wouldn't have predicted the kind of action we've had at the start of the second half. Rizal Zambri. And you're worried of lack of goals. <laughs> well, we've got three, and believe me, I think there's more. Here's Marlon James. Asmi James. Rizal Farmi's first involvement is a crunching tackle. Good start by Rizal Farmi. Zakwan. Far post is Christie. Super take. Hyrudin was the potential target. Carol Farmy, only five foot seven, but very, very good at coming out to make the claim. And compare the confidence of both goalkeepers. You can see one's flying at the moment, Carol Farmy. And our friend uh, Farizal is really all out of sorts at the moment. He's really got a get his head together, the goalkeeper, and uh, stop leaking silly goals. Tajudin. Farizal. Hyrudin's header. Obina's clearance. Well, it's typical Kalantam. They lose their centre-back, they lose a goal, and they go down the other end and, equal, and score a, a go-ahead goal. Yeah, well, that's the confidence they got. They're, they're a quality team. I think they back themselves uh, a, a against anybody. they got some good players, they're good individual players. I thought Cheryl was just the kind of player who can unsettle and uh, rip open the, you know, the offending team. There's no Cheryl. Oh, he's, he's been brilliant today, really been excellent. But look at the defending here. Look at Kay Rubens even looking there. And again, he's got done two times. And the third time, maybe I'm a bit harsh on the goalkeeper because there was a deflection on the way of Cheryl's shot. Here it is here. There's a deflection by Abel, by Abel Zafwan. But still the keeper could have saved. Two goals for North Cheryl. One from Rizal Zambri. James is offside. James really hasn't had a chance to show yet. He hasn't, he hasn't been given him much chance. You've got to credit Alvina, who's marking very well, but really the, the, his teammates have not helped. The service has been atrocious to Marlon. Hi, Rudin. Zakwan. James offside, but Zakwan tries the shot that spins 15 yards wide. Well, that's better. At least he's running at his players and he's trying, he's, he's trying to have a look at goal there. Zakwan there. There's North Sharrell, and he's happy, isn't he? He's going to be the toast of blood time if he continues to score goals, isn't he? North Sharrell with probably 60,000 Kalantanese in the stadium. Third goal for North Sharrell. We were worried that they'd miss Gadda, and we were worried they'd miss North Farhan. Well, with uh, Gadda and uh, North Farhan, I think uh, Kalanta might have been about four or five up right now. He's out, another solid contribution gotta feel sorry for Subram I'm sure Raja Gopal will be hoping it's not a serious injury with the Suzuki Cup looming well it, it, looked, it looked a pretty uh, serious injury uh, these injuries are, are never too light to take it so hopefully it's not because he, he's a good player Rubens cross Rizal Zambri scored one James is onside Marlon James Zach Wong Great block of Binna and Wanieri. Wow, oh, he's doing it. He's doing it at one end and North Sharrell's doing it on the other end and Shaki's doing it in the middle. Those three have been huge for Planta today. James has his first glimpse just here. Yeah, he wanted to go on his left foot. He did well. 
but he may, I mean, Zach Wan's got to go on his left foot there and hit it with his left foot. Asmi's cross, high rooting. Balchum misses his kick. Christy Jai Seelan wins the corner kick for ATM. It's ATM's sixth corner. They've responded to going a goal down again. Yes, good comeback by ATM. Look, they've got to throw everything. They've got nothing to lose. They've got everything to gain now. They need to score next. If they go down 3 1, it's all over. So they need to score next. Asmi, and there's a chance for a break. It's three on two. Nora Aswan has got Indra Putra in the middle. Asmi Muslim does brilliantly. Danger still not over. Afik wants the foul and gets the foul. Why didn't Royer pass the ball to Indra Putra there on the break? Well, he's just right through there. He could have played him in. There's big Afik. Did well there to get the, the free kick. Pulled back by the defender. Chance for Afik to show his aerial prowess once again. More pressure on Faris Al Haran. And you know that this one is coming fizzing in near post. <laughs> he loves his near post uh, free kicks, but he doesn't. He scored a beautiful goal against Slangor in the last minute of that semi final. He's got great technique. I like his technique. It's all about timing and precision for Fabadri. Obina virtually on the line. Referee being called over by his fourth official, I think. Well, Hopefully Boyan Hulak is uh, behaving himself on the sideline. Now, uh, have we got the, the laser once again? I can't see any lasers. Oh, yes. Yeah, it's laser pointer once again. Referee quite right just to draw attention to it. ATM are preparing some substitutions. Still Badri Radzi. I'd like to see Venice come on for ATM. Official announcement to warn the crowd that any more laser activity may result in a stoppage in play. So Badri Radzi, key moment in this cup final. Badri! Farizal gratefully fists it over the top. He's always on the money, isn't he, Badri? He doesn't miss. That's great technique. Uh, good goalkeeper. All eyes on the ATM keeper. Obina, six yards out. North Sharrell on the line. Afik. Penalty spot. Header from Afi Kazmi. Wow, oh, he's been big, isn't he? Well done. ATM clinging on by their fingernails. They can't afford to concede the third goal. There he is attacking it beautifully there. Madri chops over to take what will be corner number five for Kalantam. Obina on the goal line again, big body in front of the keeper. Header clearance by Adil. Christie only as far as Daltu. And there's no white shirts over there. A nervy, nervy couple of moments there for ATM. And two substitutions being planned by yeah. Satya Nathan. I think he's seen enough, Satya. He's going to go with two fresh players. And uh, he needs a couple of players to change the course of the game because the current players are just not performing. And especially the midfield, they've got, they've got to get the ball and start running. Here's a chance there. Luis Alfami gets just enough on it. Dautu completes the clearance. Here are the changes. 
14, Azmi Muslim comes off. Fitri Omar will come on for Azmi, and Azmi not thrilled with that. And Venice Elfie will come on, who's got genuine, genuine pace on for Christy Jayasilam. So he's changing this whole left-hand side. He is, but I, I'm a bit surprised with, uh, with Zambri's uh, exclusion. I think Zambri's had a, a pretty decent game. But, yeah, Christy hasn't touched the ball there. Hopefully, young Venice, who changed the course of the game against the Lions, who was very, very good there, he's on screen. And he's, he's one player who can uh, create some chances for his strike force. Bartoletto. Hyrudin. There is Venice. Taken out by Nick Sharo, uh, uh, Shakir. Shari. Yellow card for Shakir. What a great first contribution there by Venice. And that's what he can do. He'll beat his man. He is very, very, very quick, and uh, they need to get the ball to him now. Shaki, who's been excellent, but now he's walking a tight drive, isn't he? The ball's got to go back uh, a few more yards than that. Referee just telling them. Now, three in the wall. And ATM, just after the hour, have got themselves back in. <laughs> what a contribution by Venice there. Venice, first touch, gets a free kick, beats his man. Second touch, floats in the free kick for the goal for Marlon James. What a great substitution and a good goal by Marlon, who's hardly got a kick all game. Well and done, coach. And the baby celebration as well. Here it is. Trees on Zambri to oh, James. Zambri. And that's shocking marking there. That's a great header. Obina misses it. And two of them could have scored. Hyrodin could have scored that one too. What a start to this second half. Three goals in 18 minutes. And I'm asking if the absence of Subramanian from the heart of the Kalantan defence is really, really impacting them. Definitely will have a big impact. Uh, Subra, Subra is a very, very good defender. And you can see Obina got caught marking two plays in Marlon James and Hyrule Dean. And he just couldn't get to one of them there. And it was just an easy uh, header uh, for, for the ATM. And they're back on track. They needed to score next. And they're back on track now. And it's game on once again. Rudin's header. Dow to back to his keeper. And Marlon James, we were saying he's hardly had a chance. <laughs> I didn't think he knew where it was going. I think almost saved it there, Coral Fami. He had his eyes closed, but he knew exactly where the ball's coming. He only needed a little flick, and he did it. He's been the, the most outstanding uh, goal scorer all throughout the season in the league. And in the Malaysia Cup, he's got 12 now, which is a fantastic effort by the big uh, big strike for him. His own personal Missy 33, successful. And the baby celebration because his wife back home is pregnant with their second child. Fitri Omar steps in. Here's Venice Elfie, as you say, so rightly, Abbas. His run at North, um, Shakir. Cause the free kick and the pandemonium. Venice Elfie. Chance for Fitri. Blocked by Indra Putra. That's what you want to see from your winger, taking the play on, He's stretching the defence and giving other options in the middle of the park or even across in, in the middle there. And both Fitri and Venice would have been told by Satya they needed to improve that left-hand side. And so far, a lot of improvement. All the noise is coming from Satya supporters, the ATM fans filling one half of the main stand here at Shah Alam. 
And Padre Radzi and Cole, they've got to dig deep again. Yes, they do, they do. And uh, Plantown's got it. And this guy here has got to get uh, more into the action, uh, Bruno who's uh, had a, a pretty poor game for uh, on his standard. He has been very good for them all throughout the season, but this is where they really need him most in the next half an hour. Victory's header. High Rudin chasing a fourth straight winner's medal. Incredible. I don't think any players that done that. And he's done it with uh, Negri, Trigano, and Clanton. Correct. Fantastic. Fantastic effort. And he's worked hard. Hoverdeen has been tireless for his team. It'll be a fifth medal overall for Hoverdeen. As that swept through to Venice. Nick Jarrell. Christy Jaya Sealand's a, a real flyer, but then. But Jaya Sealand to go off and Venice Elfi to come on, who <laughs> is even quicker. I think he's a 10 600 meter runner. Wow. Which is phenomenal. Can't be. 11 6. Ah, James! Still James! He's still showing great pace. The old, the old fellow, he's still got a lot of. A lot of fire in those legs. It was a mistake by Shakir and almost got punished by Big Marlon James. In front of the digital boards, I'll tell you, here are the sponsors, the main sponsors of this season's Viala Malaysia. There has never been a goalless Malaysia Cup final, and that will go on for another year. Midway through the second half. There must be a decision tonight. Extra time and penalties if required. ATM know all about penalties. Kalantan will want to finish it in 90 minutes. Adil looks for James. Indra Putra. Dispossessed by Fitri. Venice. James and Opina. Bruno Martellato. Shake of the head from you, Abbas. You're not impressed with Bruno's contribution? No, 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 not really. Not at all, to be honest with you. Here's James. Zakwam yeah. on the far side. If we can get a, a wider shot, but Zakwam was on his knees saying, Pleading. Why didn't you put me in? Yeah, he should have. He should have done that. Right, here's the second goal once again. It's a lovely ball from yeah. Badri Radzi, but look how North Sharrell, his movement. Fantastic movement there. He, he, he moved away. Look, I mean, you, 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 you tell your attacking players all the time, you never stand next to your defender. And he just played off the shoulder of the defender, which is Kay Rubin there. Lost him, got the one-on-one -on -one situation and scored a beautiful goal. Daltu. Rubens in quickly. ATM. Look at different teams since the equaliser. Bruno Martellotto. Outside of him, Venice Elfi. Venice Elfi's got James in the middle. Venice Elfi! What a save by Carol Farmy. What a contribution this guy's done. Venice. Venice is on fire at the moment. Great save there by Carol Farmy. Victory's cross. Obina's header. Zakwan will pick up the pieces. Zakwan closed down by Daudsu brilliantly. Nor Sharrell, who's on a hat trick, of course. What a game this has turned into. <laughs> it's just opened up now. It's 2 2. This could finish 4 uh, 4 before 90 minutes away. It's going. Shakir. ATM's looking the stronger, this. Neat play by Rizal Zambri. Scored the first goal. Ruben comes striding forward. Zakwan. Hyrudin chases. Obina puts a big size 11 <laughs> through that. And Dao to took a knock and 
Kalantan do not need injuries. Obina, is he holding his hamstring? I hope not. They don't want to lose the second central defender. If they lose Obina, it could be a long, long night. There's that chance there. Bruno Madlotto gives it to Venice. Does beautifully there. Sells to Charol. And a good save by uh, Carol Fami. But look at it on this angle. He had the inside post Venice to score. There's the inside post. And he gets the feet of the goalkeeper. ATM to Kalantan to Venice Elfie on as a second half substitute has made all the difference as the high motion super slow mo shows us it was the shin pad that makes the important yep. contribution. Yeah. That's why he's the best goalkeeper in the country. He's got problems, Boyan now. Obina Unwanieri looks like he's got a hamstring problem. Well, he's got to continue, he's got no choice. It's the last game of what's been a big, long season. Competing on four fronts for Kalantam. Making the quarterfinals of the AFC Cup. Won the Super League. Won the FA Cup. Made it through to the final of the Era Piala Malaysia. And Obina has been a central point of all four campaigns. The big man's jogging back on. We'll keep a close eye on him. James is free. Marlon James. James. Deflection. Corner number seven for ATM. This has turned. It has turned. Uh, Subramanian going off. It has turned. I mean, uh, Obina can't run with both uh, central defenders and he needs help. This guy, he's got to help him more. Result, Marlon James starting to find space and they're starting to find him and use him more. And we know he's very, very dangerous. If they give him more chances, he will punish it. Zach Bonada. Take corner number seven. Adil's made the run near post. No Cheryl, the lone striker. No Cheryl scoring just before half time on 44 minutes. Give Kalantan the lead. Equalizer from Rizal Zambri, 49 minutes. Within a minute, no Cheryl making it 2 1. And then Marlon James header. 62 minutes gives us the two all score and chasing was Afik. That's good defending by Adil. He's he's really come really big in the second half. Adil Zafwan, he's led his team very, very well at the back and they need him with a big, big effort against North Sharol and Afik. Afik trying to get into Putra free. Shakir dispossessed. Venice healthy. Can a substitute come on and win man of the match? Yes, why, why, why wouldn't he? He's been very, very good. I was just going to say, Fitri's been good and he's just given it away. But defensively, he has been good. They have, he has added a bit more steel on the left-hand side. And uh, as for Venice, well, he's been great going forward. Just keep an eye on Obina Amunieri and your thoughts on his hamstring yep. problem. In the meantime, Dow to down the line. They've just lost that sharpness, they've lost their, their, their confidence all of a sudden. I think they've just got shocked that second equaliser by Marlon James. They've really shocked the Clantown players and uh, they're all over the place at the moment. They need to settle down and just get back to what they, you know, what they were doing well in the first half. And at the moment, it's been all ATM. And if they continue to allow them to play, ATM will go ahead and uh, probably win this game. Martellotto finds Nick Sharrell. Arudin. It's come off the top of Nick Sharrell. Venice Elfie will run at the fullback. Oh. Gosh, she kept it in. <laughs> How quick is that fella? <laughs> he's, been, he's entertained the whole crowd. This guy is going to himself. Christie goes off. He runs 100 metres in 10.7, and somebody else who runs it in 10.6 comes on. So, uh, Paul. Charles had a, a really long day today.
Tafik wins the header against Tajuddin. Nick Charol. Rubens, header. Hyrulin, Ogbina. That stretch won't do his hamstring much good. Possessional stats 50 50. The goals, well, shots 8 to 9. Goals to a piece, it's evenly matched. That's why it's a two all draw, there's, there's not much between them so far. Afi Kazmi, an error from Ad Adil, no Cheryl on the hat trick. Chance. It's a half a chance there. Just Poor first touch here, yeah, horrible defending here. First, Adel Zafwan trying to head it back to the goalkeeper. There's that touch, just got away, and this could have gone anywhere. Indra Putra was waiting there to hunt. Well, we've seen so many variations of emotion in this final. Is it going to swing again? Ah, of course it is. <laughs> Five more times. Oh, well, it's plenty of time, what is it? 15, probably another five on top of that. Probably 20 minutes still to go. Plenty, plenty of time for two more goals. Oral's corner, Afik. A little bit of a push by the back, on the back of Mairudin Omar. On loan from Kuala Lumpur. Rock bottom of the league and relegated. And he's playing at the Malaysia Cup final. Wow. And he's played a good game. Oh, Ruben. Stretches ahead of North Sharrow. A deal. About to. No Sharon. Looks for Noral Aswan. There he goes. Noral Aswan. On to his favourite left foot. Noral. Tajudin's header. Important header. Oh, Venice. Referee says play on. over the top of the bar from Indra Putra that for Indra is a chance that is a big chance for Indra he had a good look but he's got every right here Venice because he's definitely tripped here have a look at this that's a trip and it's right in front of the referee and it could have cost his team a goal Indra has had a good look at goal but got horribly underneath it and Indra has had a pretty poor game for his standard a big fan of Indra Putra but today he really hasn't turned up Indra and he needs to support North Sharrell uh, and I think a little bit more going forward. This is the 11th game of Galantan's Malaysia Cup campaign. 20 shots for him in the mainly from a midfield position. Shakir attacks the space. Bruno stays with him. Victory finds Harudin. as we approach the final 10 minutes. Satya won the cup with Kalantan. Now he's trying to plot a way to defeat them. He's telling some of his players just to settle down when they got the ball, not to be in too much of a hurry. They have been the better team, ATM, in the second half. Hyrudin. Obina. Still not moving freely. Afik. Tajudin. Oh, Afik got there. Adil helps out his centre back partner. You were saying beforehand how you thought both defenders were vulnerable. Yes. And we've seen that already, haven't we? Bruno. Hi, Rudin. Venice Elfie, Venice! Hi oh. Rudin though is finding a little pocket of space and it's causing problems. The band strikes up again. How well is Venice playing since he's come on? He's just making an intelligent run. He's been fantastic since he's come on. Hi Rudin is really taken it to another level and has led his team very well in the second half also. James, head of Rizal Farming. 
I think you might see Rizal now marking Marlon James for the uh, aerial ball because I've been they probably can't jump because of the hamstring so he's probably playing like more of a, a sweeper role and you can see him he is limping the, the big uh, fella at the back for Clanton. Adil's header and a little bit of space for Hyrood and whose fitness levels are good victory gives the ball away Noel has one Break to Badri Ratsi. Important touch from Tajudin. Into the final ten minutes. Rizal Zambri, his rare goal, gave ATM momentum in this second half. They've carried it on despite going 2 1 behind. As you say, Abbas. They've probably been the better team in your book. Yes, they have been uh, the, the better team. But uh, look, I mean, both teams are sort of even itself out now. If, if you look at it uh, in 80 minutes, probably 40 each, uh, you've got to give it to them. Uh, credit to ATM. They've really come good in the second half and they've upped uh, the level of the energy and they've been uh, definitely the better team. And I can't see how that is offside unless he was offside before he received the ball, uh, Marlon James. Indeed, I he think doesn't he was. know that, yes. Yeah, he was. Nice Kalantan fans are telling him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a couple of players limping. You've got Dalsu limping and Obina limping at the back for, for Kalantan. Madri Ratti. Barnstorming charge from Badri. I can tell you Kalantan are considering the change and Mafri Balang looks like he's ready to come on. Mafri a hard-working midfielder. Daltu, nicely played, Daltu and Shakir. Here's Daltu Jamaludin, no Sharrell. Daltu. Oh. And there's a bit of space where Daltu was. Zakwan. Wow. That's why Shakir is so valuable. And the change, Afi Kazmi, who has put in a great 82 minute shift, is coming off. Mafri Balang will come on into midfield and your thoughts on how this will change things, Alice? Uh, yeah, I mean, they need it. They've been overrun in the middle of the park and I'm surprised actually Boyan Dudek has taken that long to bring uh, Mafri on and just play with a lone striker. He's got Indra Putra on there as a second striker and he doesn't need all three strikers there because ATM really got hold of the ball and uh, overpower him in the middle of the park. At least Mafri will give him an extra play in midfield and, uh, you know, and better, and better uh, chances of getting the ball in the middle of the park. Scary moment for Carol Farmy. Yeah. Kay Ruben, Bruno Martellotto. And PPJ were the last time Bruno was in a Malaysia Cup final. Venice Elfie. Well, that's possibly why he's not higher up the ranks. That's and possibly why he's not playing yeah, Super League. And, I mean, as a winger, you've got to have better service than that. Okay, right. There's the offside. Well, we, we didn't see that. He was offside, came back onside to receive the ball. I think we just didn't catch that, and the linesman was spot on there. Trying all, so, all kinds of tricks to catch the linesman out. <laughs> <laughs> A knock in the head for Hyrudin. Now fatigue begins to kick in. This is an important last 10 minutes. Uh, you don't want to make a mistake because if you make one mistake, it could be it could be the end uh, for, for your team. So both teams have really got to concentrate. Again, James offside. We know that ATM will battle until 96 minutes and 33 seconds. Yeah. And I think they're bit, probably fitness-wise, they probably uh, would be a little bit fitter than the Clanton boys, and they've looked that way you know, in the last. 20 minutes, uh, they've really overrun the Clanton team. What, do you think it's a fitness thing? No, no, but I mean, obviously fitness will come to it. I mean, you still need to be, be able to run uh, to receive the ball. And you can see uh, the fresh players have added a bit of life for, for ATM. And uh, a few uh, knocks and injuries for the Clanton boys have really slowed him down. Thumbs up for Venice Elfie. For once, for once, the stadium is 
relatively quiet. That's because <laughs> they've been defending. They've been second best in the second half. It was all clumped in the first half, but it's been all ATM in the second half. Two for North Sharrell, one for Rizal Zambri and one for Marlon James. Amaritran will be happy Afik's not playing because he's won that header and injured himself. And ATM are asking him to put it out and Kalantan have got no obligation to put the ball out. That's right, it's, it's really up to the player if he wants to put it out or not. Uh, Tajadi's gone down I think with cramps and... Uh, He's not, he's not going to be the first and the, not the last one to, to get cramps. As he comes down, you'll probably feel it. There it is. Hasn't been first choice for ATM in their Malaysia Cup run. OK, let's have a look and see. The high-speed camera will show us in gory detail how he lands the right foot is that cramp or is that a knee little twist for me it's a cramp I don't I didn't see any twists in the knees there he probably would have got uh, the cramp even on the way down as he jumped and he's coming back down so Indra Putra with Afik off he becomes Boyan's trump card, as well as no Sharrell, of course. Let us know your thoughts. Facebook, Astro Arena, Saloran 801. Extra time is looming. From a Singapore and Johor player, Abbasad in the commentary box. And Abbas, this is a terrifying time if you're a player. <laughs> it is a terrifying time because if you you know if, uh, if you can see the goal, it's going to be you know it's not going to be enough time to maybe get back uh, and, and rescue it. So uh, really, uh, you've got to you've got to be on top of your full concentration now. Probably five minutes, maybe even eight minutes to go, all up with injury time. Amaruduan is back on the pitch, and K. Ruben has got away with that one. I don't think he ever released it. The referee is giving him a second chance. It'll be Bedlam if they score from this. They don't. Adri's air shot. Ayrudin, growing in influence. Venice. Sharrell is the, the lone striker. Afri Balang has two goals at Ayrudin. On loan from Sabah is Mafri Balang. You'll get that Sabahang grit. You know, you'll get a, an honest performance from the Sabah players. Here's Venice Elfie. Oh, Venice has done him. Venice healthy. Oh. So exciting until. <laughs> he's a bit of a road runner, isn't he? He's just, he's all energy, he's all pace. He's, he's got to learn to slow down and be a bit more composed just before he crosses the ball. He's 100 miles an hour all the time. You can't play football 100 miles an hour. You've got to play with a little bit more of intelligence. We had a shot there of Nick Sharrell. I'm sure Nick Sharrell would kick him if he wasn't on a yellow card. Just <laughs> well, to slow it down. Him. If he can catch him, but... A minute to play. Malaysia Cup final at Shah Alam. players with cramp it's a soft pitch yeah. softened even further by the, the rain we had just before kickoff the occasion takes it out of the legs as well Bruno is <laughs> again ends on the floor 
Shakir gets away from the scene of the crime as quickly as he can. He's on a yellow. Three Kalantan players on yellow. Pina and Munieri, Cheryl and Shakir. That's just a tight tackle there by uh, Shakir. But, but Prudhoe's got to be a little bit quicker with his feet and with his passing. And, uh, you know, at the moment, he's just playing one pace the whole match. A goal now will win it. Down to referee's blatant advantage. Zakwan! Carol Formi makes the save. Bruno, Hyrudin, Hyrudin. What an opening. Zakwan did everything right. Carol Formi has brilliant. saved the cup. Brilliant, brilliant, the goalkeeper there. That was that was a fantastic save. The ball goes past him, and Marlon James would have just tapped it there, probably for the for the winner. For ATM, but great run there by Zach one who took uh, Dalton to the cleaners. And James will challenge. And Carol Farmy will make a comfortable catch and distribute, looking for North Sharrell. Amaridwan's header. Shakir looks right to North Sharrell. He's on a hat trick. North Sharrell. Amaridwan clears. And Rizal Zambri looks for James. Obinna's in front of James, a minute of the three minutes played. Fitri. Foul against James. You've done that enough yourself, Marlon. <laughs> Obinna is being huge. I think he's playing on one leg and uh, he, he's still very, very impressive at the back. Ruben bravely in. Zakwan again. Tormenting the left hand side. And then puts a poor pass in. Mafri Balang. It's stretched. No Sharrell. No Sharrell's drifted past the man. Foul by Hyrudin Omar. Avkalantan got the energy to put some bodies in the penalty area yellow card for Hyrudin no Sharrell in full flight taken out Why it was? We'll just see. play in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can see how Rudin was never going to let Nor Sharrell go past him there, and it was a different uh, foul. Right. Now pressure on Faris Al Haram. He's decided four in a wall, just over 30 yards. Oh. Indra. A tired last chance of the regulation 90 minutes. promise you a titanic battle we've given you a titanic 90 minutes Abbasad, quick thoughts on North Sharrell's two goals and ATM's come back yeah amazing performance by North Sharrell he's been excellent for Clunton but we've got to credit ATM they looked right out of it in the first 45 minutes but they were, they've been brilliant in the second half and come really good and unlucky not to win the game in, in normal time not for this keeper here Carol Farmi has been absolutely brilliant uh, good run here by Zakwan but look at the goalkeeper, he read that, he knew if the ball goes past him, look at Marlon James there, would have been a tapping for him for the winner. That was in injury time after 90 minutes, it's ATM 2, Kalantan 2, extra time is next.